the top 1% of U.S. earners now hold more wealth than all of the middle class combined. While this figure clearly outlines the astounding level of social and income inequality, it also indicates a very important reality about wealth. The rich get richer, while the poor get poorer. A lot of this can be put down to personal circumstances, but on the other end of the spectrum, there were more millionaires made in 2021 than ever before. So it's still definitely possible for everyday people like you and me to become millionaires. You just need to adopt the right habits. In today's video, we will be talking about the top 7 habits that separate the rich from the poor. But before we start, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Habit 1. Hard Work and Proper Planning You may or may not believe in luck, but you can't deny the importance of hard work and long-term planning. Anyone who gets rich does so through hard work and proper planning. Even those who are born into wealthy families have to work hard and plan in order to retain or increase their wealth. But it isn't enough just to work hard. You need to have a goal in mind as well. For example, if your goal is to retire off of rental properties, then you need to plan out how you will get there in a realistic and actionable way. You can do this by planning out your expected future living expenses. Ask yourself, how much will I spend on rent per week? How much on food? How much on utilities? How much on subscriptions? Now you know how much money you'll need to cover these expenses. The next step is to figure out how many rental properties will provide this amount in terms of cash flow. This is a simple exercise of how the rich use proper planning to achieve their goals, but none of this will work unless you're prepared to work hard and execute your plan. You can watch as many videos as you want, read all the finance books in the world, but nothing will happen unless you take action and put in the work required to get there. So get out there! Save as much as you can for a deposit, learn about real estate investing, and start looking for cash-flowing rental properties if that's the route you want to go down. Habit 2. Constant self-improvement A trait that you will find in every rich or successful person is the desire to constantly improve and get better. As human beings, we grow up in a society and are exposed to many contradicting opinions, beliefs, and habits. Once we become adults, we must set ourselves on the path of unlearning the bad and adopting the good habits and practices that can turn us into someone who is eager to improve. The Japanese have a philosophy called Kaizen, which means to change for the better. Business students are taught the Kaizen philosophy as a way to improve workplace management. This philosophy can also be applied to our lives to improve and become a better, more successful version of ourselves. Try to take some time to read about the lives and struggles of some of the richest people. You'll find that all of them are focused on getting better at what they did. None of them settled for where they were because they knew that there is always something new to learn and opportunity to grow as a person. Habit 3. Set your budget. Oh yes, this is a very cliche word. In fact, most of the people watching this video will probably be thinking, how on earth is budgeting going to get us rich? Well, let's look at some examples. Countries prepare budgets, businesses prepare budgets, and banks prepare budgets. Why? Because a budget helps them properly allocate their income and expenditures. So why do we think that budgets are a waste of time for us? Budgeting is important for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're living paycheck to paycheck or if you live in a mega mansion. You need to know how much you're earning, how much you're spending, and how much you're saving. It becomes even more important if you're in debt and trying to become debt-free. Same goes for generating wealth. You can't generate wealth if you don't know your own saving and spending capacity. So set yourself a weekly budget based on your current living situation and try to stick to it. From there, whatever money you have left over you can look at investing, whether that's in some form of asset like a stock, or even in yourself by taking courses to learn a new skill. Habit 4. Focus on the big picture. There's a growing problem in the younger generations today, and that problem is called shiny object syndrome. 
This basically means that in a world filled with distractions, not many people have the ability to concentrate on one thing at a time, and if they do, they tend to get bored of it really quickly. Unfortunately, what many seem to forget is that nothing worth having comes easy. Let's use the following example. Suppose there was a young investor named Ben. Now Ben decides to start investing into stocks this year. He builds a portfolio filled with great companies like Amazon, Apple, and Google. Ben's strategy is simple. He decides to dollar-cost average into these stocks every week over the course of a year. At the start of the year, he had $0 invested, and towards the end of the year, he had $12,000 invested. The total return he made on his invested capital was around 20%. Not too bad for a newbie in the market, right? Well, Ben isn't convinced he starts to get frustrated because he's not a millionaire yet. He looks into cryptocurrencies and sees all these coins making 10,000% returns in only a few days. Ben decides to withdraw all of his investments and put them into one of these coins hoping to make enough money to retire early and buy a super yacht. You can guess what happens next. Ben loses his entire savings and has to start from scratch all over again. Moral of the story? Focus on the big picture. Be patient and realize that it will take time to build your wealth. But if you stay consistent, you will get there eventually. I'm not saying don't take risks, and I'm definitely not hating on cryptocurrencies, but you will never achieve any significant investment returns unless you stick to one strategy over a long period of time. When Warren Buffett was 30 years old, he had a net worth of $1 million. But at 56, his net worth grew to a staggering $1.4 billion. That's the power of patience. Habit 5. Invest and reinvest. One key investment technique that all wealthy individuals follow is that they invest their savings regularly. Then they reinvest the returns and periodically increase their investments further. This is the golden rule of creating exponential returns. Warren Buffett once said, I never like to hold on to too much cash. I find it's much better to employ my cash into businesses that I see potential in so that I can generate a return. Whatever you save, you must invest to create returns. Leaving money idle is never a good idea because inflation makes money lose value over time. Invest your savings into investment options that give you a return better than the rate of inflation at least. This last year alone, inflation has been recorded at 8.2%. But in reality, it's likely to be much higher than that. Now, let's say you can choose to invest 10% of your savings each month. This is a good baseline to start from, but you shouldn't stop there. As soon as you feel ready, maybe after 6 or 12 months, Increase the 10% to 15% or whatever you can afford. Then, regularly look to increase your investment rate when you can. If you invest $1,000 consecutively each month, after three months, you would have invested $3,000. This is obviously excluding any gains or losses the investment makes. But if you increase your investment each month by, say, 5%, then you'll invest $1,000 in the first month, $1,150 in the second, and $1,200 in the third month. And by the end of the third month, you'll have a total of $3,350 in investments. You can clearly see how big a difference investment, reinvestment, and incremental investment over time can have on your savings. Now, I know this might not always be possible, but even if you made small incremental increases, you will still build your portfolio much faster than if you just stuck to the same number every month. A great way to do this is through dividend investing, because every time you get paid a dividend, you can immediately use that money to put back into your investments. Keep doing this, and over time you'll start to see a snowball effect on your portfolio. Habit 6. Diversify your income streams. For instance, if you like photography, you can put your pictures on sale on sites like Shutterstock and earn royalty income. Do you have a specific skill? Write an ebook and earn money through its sales. Open a YouTube account if you have the talent or become an affiliate marketer. 
the possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Set up multiple income streams, because the more you can earn, the more you'll be able to save and invest. Habit 7. Surround yourself with winners. You've probably heard this before, but it's worth repeating. You are the sum of the five people closest to you. Jim Rohn said that in one of his motivational speeches, and it basically means that the five people you spend most of your time with will shape the way you are as a person. So take a second to think about that for yourself. If all of your friends just want to party and drink on the weekends and spend all their money on unnecessary things, that will influence you, and you will adapt a similar lifestyle to them. But if you spend time with investors and business owners who are always looking to improve, then you'll become more and more like them. You'll think like they do, act like they do, and spot opportunities that you otherwise would have missed. I know this might sound a bit harsh, but you need to value where you spend your time. I'm not saying cut out your friends and family completely, but if you're constantly around negative and unmotivated people, this will rub off on you and will hinder your success. If you have close friends and family members who provide this environment, then great. If not, then try to find people who can push you to improve yourself. Maybe join a club or go to conferences. The rich are constantly networking with like-minded individuals so that they can stay up to date with the latest opportunities. What do you think? Do you follow any of these habits already? Or were there any that I missed? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.